hello and welcome to Bulgaria. I'll be spending the next week or so here in the capital city of Sofia. And then after that, I'll be heading to the coastal town of Varna on the Black Sea. If you don't know too much about the country of Bulgaria, it's one of the many post-communist countries here in the Eastern Balkans of Europe. It's a country with a lot of history. It's been ruled by the Ottomans, the Greeks, the Romans, and of course the Soviets. So it's a very cultural place. You'll see a lot of influence in the food, the architecture, the language, and even the people. So let's do a little walk around the city of Sofia. So I'm sitting here in Sofia, and any minute my friend Tom from the UK is about to join me. And last time I saw Tom was on the island of Palawan in Philippines in 2019, right before COVID hit. So I'm very excited. Yeah. More of us going through it, like the safer it is as well. So. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing about these hikes out in Peru. Like it's kind of dangerous to do by yourself because elevation is insane. Yeah. All right, look who we've run into. It's Tom <laughs> from England. You all right, guys? You all right? Yeah. So I'll be traveling with Tom through Bulgaria, <laughs> and then we don't have much of a plan after that. Day by day. Day yeah. by day. Last time I saw him, Philippines, 2019. Let's go. Oh, you didn't print the ticket. No. Yeah. We ran there. Yeah. Had that happen. Our yeah. flight to Krakow was fifty dollars or fifty euro yeah. at twenty sixteen, and then because we didn't print it, it was an extra fifty. So me and Tom have just arrived at the Alexander Nevsky Cathedral here in Sofia. It's the most iconic image of Sofia. It's a large Bulgarian Orthodox church located here in the center of Sofia. Right, me and Tom are going to try to go in. Say one thing I've definitely noticed here in Sofia is that it smells really good because of yeah. all the flowers. <laughs> Can't take these girls anywhere. All right, another day here in Sofia, Bulgaria. And today, me and some friends are gonna go hike Vitasha Mountain, which is a mountain just outside of Sofia. It's actually the oldest national park in the Balkans, so it should be a grand old time. It's gonna be an interesting day. Yeah. <laughs> right, we're getting the full Bulgaria experience, the true culture of Bulgaria. Sweet. How beautiful is this? Bulgaria. <laughs> Touch much there. The 
Boyana Waterfall here on the outskirts of Sofia, Bulgaria. And it's moments like these where I just stop and think, how did I end up in this situation? I'm here with my buddy from the Philippines, two girls from Japan, and we're just hiking through the mountains of Bulgaria. Definitely makes me feel like I'm living life to the fullest. Very grateful to be here. I think. And he was just like there every day, like, like, <laughs> normal guy, you know, <laughs> looked a little bit shady because he, you know, didn't like put money into it himself. Um, so what is backpacking Iran like? Backpacking Iran is challenging, but you, you never experience hospitality like that in your life. Unless you go to probably Kazakhstan or, which one was it? Kazakhstan, was it? Kyrgyzstan, Kyrgyzstan Kazakhstan. 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 Apparently those are also next level. What do you mean? Best hospitality. Best hospitality in the world. People are super welcoming, super open, super friendly. And you feel very safe. And you feel safe as fuck, bro. Like, really. Yeah. I, I think you feel less safe in London or Paris, bro, than, than, than anywhere in Iran. But yeah, for example, like, you can't use a Visa or MasterCard, right? So you right. go to the airport, you change 50 quid, they give you a stack of money like this, bro. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. You're, you're rolling all the time. I had this full of, full of cash. All the time. Got it. One million, two million, three million. So you can't even right? withdraw from an ATM? No, no, no. So you think the media kind of misportrays Iran? Totally, 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 totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially, I mean, if you go to Iran, you're going there for, for the people. Like, yeah. the mosques are cool, but the mosques are actually fucking incredible. I'll show you some pictures now. Yeah. But it's mainly for the people, like, for... to get to know how they're living, how fucked up the system is. And every time you talk to an Iranian local, at some point in the conversation, they're going to start complaining about how fucked the system is. Yes. All of them. They're all against the system. But you know, for Iranians, the dream country to go to is America and Canada. That's their dream destination. To leave the country, they want to go to the States and Canada. I think they don't realize, like, the US also has fucking problems. There's a shit ton of homeless. I don't know, like, there's, there's, yeah. there's shit going down there as well. Some of the worst problems in the world right now. Exactly. So Russia and, no, Iran used to be the most sanctioned country in the world, but Russia's just replaced it. Oh, yeah. Really? After, yeah, after the, um, Russia invaded Ukraine, yeah. literally now they are. And English, pretty widely spoken. Okay. Very, very few people speak English, but even if they don't speak English, they'll communicate with you. They'll yeah, that, that's more fun. They'll have a that's chat. More fun. The taxi driver who doesn't speak English, he'll chat to you the whole way through. Yeah. Yeah. But that you say they're relatively happy to have you there. Alright, so me, Tom, and Lota from Naxos in Greece have just arrived here at Rila National Park where we're gonna do the most famous hike here in Bulgaria. It's called the Rila Seven Lakes. Got about a 20 minute ride on the chairlift. Should be an absolutely beautiful day, right? Definitely. Long day, but beautiful. <laughs> We are now on the way to the National Park, yeah. by the Seven Meer. We are going to hike and then we are going to the Kloster, I think. It's a whole long day. But we have fun, right? That would be lovely. Lovely. The sound. How was your solo chairlift ride, mate? Groovy, baby. <laughs> So sometimes when you're traveling, things can definitely go wrong sometimes. And unfortunately, I've lost my cell phone, which is certainly a big time bummer, but I guess things could be worse. We're still out here in the mountains of Bulgaria. And at the end of the day, it's just the cell phone. I just spent a couple hours looking for the phone. So I've lost some time here, so I have to hustle a little bit. But other than that, absolutely stunning here. If you're unfamiliar with the Riva Lakes, it's a series of layered lakes connected by waterfalls and streams. In the winter time, it's completely covered in snow and the lakes are frozen, but for a few months in the summer, you get to see these insane views.
Just to give you an update on the future outlook of the trip, I plan to be traveling with Tom for a little while. And currently the plan is to head to the coast for a little bit, spend some time in the Black Sea here in Bulgaria, just for a couple days. And then from there, we're gonna go up to Romania, um, to Transylvania, do some hiking, see Dracula's castle, and then spend some time in the capital city of Bucharest. And then we're going to go down to Turkey. Um, spend some time on the coast of Turkey, the interior, and of course Istanbul. And then from there we plan to go up to Georgia, the Republic of Georgia, take the night bus to the city of Tbilisi, go see the incredible mountains that Georgia has. And then from there we'll either go into the country of Azerbaijan, take a ferry from the capital Baku across the Caspian Sea over to Kazakhstan, and then spend some time in Kazakhstan and Kyrgyzstan and potentially Uzbekistan if we can get approved for a visa. So nothing ever goes as planned, but that is the current plan and it should be absolutely incredible. So it's our last day here in Sofia. We've spent about a week here in the city. Now we're heading to the city of Varna over on the coast of the Black Sea. Somewhere between a five and seven hour bus ride, so we'll see you when we get there. All right, trying to find a ticket to Varna. As you can see, absolutely nothing is in English, so we just have to try to figure it out. So me, Tom, and Lotta have arrived to the city of Varna here on the Black Sea. It's a very interesting hostel with some interesting characters. So I think we're just going to sleep here tonight and then move on tomorrow. Behold, the Black Sea, here in Varna, Bulgaria. Hard to believe that if you follow this coastline for just a few hours, you'll reach the Ukraine. Okay, so after a couple days relaxing here on the coast of the Black Sea, here in Varna, it is officially our last night here in Bulgaria. So tomorrow, Tom and I will be hopping on a night bus. It's about 12 hours from here to the city of Brasov in Transylvania, in Romania. So we'll be spending some time there. Um, and then in the capital city of Bucharest in Romania as well. Bulgaria is a very, very fascinating place. I've never been anywhere like it in my life, but I really enjoyed my time here. So shout out to everyone I met at Smart Hostel in Sofia. You're all very great people, and it was a pleasure hanging out with y'all. And thank you all for watching this week's video here in Bulgaria, and I'll see you next week in Romania.